Hello, this is Pickleton, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea, Afternoon of Darkness. So let's start things off, let's go to the uh, Dark Assembly and pass a more expensive stuff bill. Uh, so what the more expensive stuff bill does is it makes higher quality items available in the store. Uh, it will also kind of, if you're uh, doing it a little bit too much, you'll end up with a lot of really expensive items, so try to limit it to only when you need it, or else you might end up just not being able to find items you want. Uh, okay, that should be enough. Usually the uh, more expensive stuff bill is pretty easy to pass. Yeah, see, there you go. Only one try. As opposed to the eyewear bill. So what we're going to want to buy is a fancy lid. Uh, but we're going to want with Arms Masters, and that does not have them, so let's get, let's get another one. Let's see. And there we go. Sweet. All right, so that has, that has nine Arms Masters. So that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what, what, what item am I going to go to the item world with? I don't think I could do the Imperial Seal, so... No, but I don't want to do the Bulletproof Fest, so I'm going to go with the Common Orb, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with the Common Orb. It's got seven Arms Masters, so if I subdue the Specialist there, I'll have 14. So when you go into the, um, this is the item world, I'm going to save first. Uh, when you go into the item world, you can level up your items, uh, which will increase their stats. You can also subdue the specialists that are within the items, and what that will do is it will double their level, or double their effect in the item. Uh, so I would go from 7 Arms Masters to 14. And it would also make me able to uh, move that specialist to another item. So all you really need to do is they're neutral characters that you'll just randomly encounter, just kill it, and... <laughs> Bam, subdue to specialist. So now its level is doubled, I can move it to another item. So I'm just gonna skip to the next level. You just you can just uh see that glowy tile that that mage was standing on? Now I can just move someone there and next level. So ooh, this one looks like it might be promising. Uh yeah, there's a gatekeeper too. Okay. Uh let's check the bonus. A lot of good stuff. So what I'm going to want to do is, this has met my conditions. I have three conditions for fully clearing a floor. Uh, one is a gatekeeper, because that will allow me to um, build up my combo without having to worry about ending the level prematurely. Um, it has a lot of different colored geo symbols, so that means I can get a really big combo going. And it has some pretty good items that I can get from that combo. Uh, so first of all, there's a lot of defense I'm seeing here, uh, a lot of defense panels, so I'm just going to move Laharl to one of them and end the turn, uh, and just let everyone get a little bit closer so I can start taking them out. Man. Okay, he should be fine. Defense plus 50%, and that Imperial Seal, he should be taking nothing from these guys. Yeah, look at that. Um, so let's see, Etna and Laharl should be able to kill that guy. Probably just barely. Ah, oh. oh, man! Come on, Etna, I know you can do better than that. Okay, move them there. Uh, have you finished that guy off? So I still want to keep working on my Brawler and Warrior, uh, even though I'm going to be you know, getting rid of them pretty soon. I think probably at the, the beginning of next chapter, or the end of this one. Okay, so what am I standing next to? Or what co What is that blue one? I think it's a plus 50 defense. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So now a plus 100% defense. So anybody standing on that is going to be doubled. It's not going to be too helpful for my brawler. Just because she has uh, no armor, but 
for everybody else, it's gonna be nice. Oh, come on, Laharl. I am not doing nearly as much damage as I was expecting. Okay, move you over there. And, uh, over there. And have my warrior finish that guy off. And do it! Aw, oh, man! Come on! Today is just not my day. Um, yeah, I'll just take that guy out. I could have finished off that other guy, but he's probably gonna attack one of my other people and get countered to death anyway, so... Yeah, there we go. Ooh, in the position of that Claire, or priest, I can, uh, I can show off a cool little thing about spears. You can stand on one, one spot, attack, and move. So that's pretty nice. I mean, it, it's a, it opens up a lot of possibilities for taking advantage of geo symbols, stuff like that, so. That's a really good uh, point about spears. It's not the main reason I'm using them. In fact, if it wasn't for the main reason I was using them, I probably just wouldn't, but... Um... Oh, and another cool thing about spears is that they actually increase your defense, too, usually. Um... Swords will just be straight attack. Uh, spears will be attack and defense. Um... Ooh, with the position of that guy, I can... Uh, get up to that square right there. Using the Impaler ability. Um, guns will be pure hit. Uh, bows will be attack and hit. Axes will be attack. Like, high, really high attack, but you lose a little bit of hit. And then staves just increase your int and resilience. Now I guess, yeah, I could just start moving around the geo panels now. Gonna... Well, I need to take out those guys on that island. Uh, okay, so, anyways, yeah, see there's a purple, a yellow, a blue, a green, and a red symbol there. Uh, in general, when you go into item world, the preference, I think, it tends to lean a lot towards red as the one that comes out the most. Uh, it's usually like red, green, blue, yellow, purple, aqua. Uh, you'll... I don't think there even is an aqua symbol in this game. There isn't future ones, but I don't think I've ever seen an aqua one in this game. If I have, I'm just not remembering. But what that means is I want to put everything except for the null uh, symbol on aqua panels. And what that'll do is that'll help... Um, that'll let me do a huge chain. Okay, so I'm probably gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be chucking Laharl over to that island. Wait, why did I move him there? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go over there. Uh, I don't think my brawler's gonna be able to reach him to throw. Oh, she reached him. Can she throw all the way over there, though? I don't think so. Toss that there. Toss the green one over there. I guess with that positioning, it would probably be best to, to uh, put the null on the green panel. So generally, I mean, you don't have to do it this way, but the way I like to do it is I put the null symbol on the color of whatever panel of the color of this first symbol I break. So if the first symbol I'm going to break is a yellow one, I will put the null symbol on a on a red panel. So if I destroy a red red symbol, I put it on a red panel. If I destroy a yellow symbol, I put it on a yellow panel. I hope that makes sense. It kind of made made sense in my head, but when I said it out loud, it didn't quite. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so those guys are all taken out. Add on to, uh, uh, 
Yeah, I guess you could throw it. Aqua, move you onto a tile that doesn't have anything on it. Yeah, I think I think everything's set up except for the null. Oh wait, there's a green right there. Ah, uh, I'm dumb. Sorry, viewers. I know this is taking a long time, but trust me, it's a lot faster than grinding. Except for power maps, or like power leveling maps. Those ones are, I mean, they're made for power leveling. But considering I've limited myself to not being able to do any maps more than once, this'll do just fine. Put you on a clear one, clear one, clear one, clear one. And throw that onto the green. Go and enter. So another thing that you can do is if the bonus has a lot of experience plus whatevers, you can use that to level up. Um characters that you're not really using. Uh, so, for example, if I wanted to level up a class that I'm not using, like the... I don't know. If I wanted to level up a rogue, let's say, I could just take one of those guys out and finish the level and he'd get a bunch of experience. In this case, it's only 50, but... I've had times where I'll go into a level and the bonus will have, like, you know, six or so plus EXPs, and while doing a test run for this guy, too, I had uh, a character level up from level 1 to level 20, and I wasn't even really that far into the game, uh, just because there were so many experience uh, nodes, or experience bonuses. Okay, everything turns yellow, and everything turns red, then everything should turn blue and then destroy. And I believe that should get me a maxed out bonus gauge. So I'll get all of the items on that on that list. So that's like what, ten minutes of work? I'd say about ten minutes to uh, do this level, this floor. And I mean, if I just did, you know, one of the earlier levels over and over and over and over again, I could have gotten some experience in items, but not nearly as much as I'm getting here. I mean, first off, I'm fighting level 3 enemies, and, uh, second, I mean, look at this bonus gauge. Oh, baby. So, I'll be doing the rest of this off-screen, except for the, the, uh, tenth floor. So, I'll meet you guys there next time on Let's Play Disgaea, Afternoon of Darkness. This has been Pickleton, gonna be signing off. Take it easy.